today we will stay here at least two hours and uh, we will make a break, of course and according to our German friends in that break we will do some work it was one beautiful day in the European patent place, whatever and we had from 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock program which was fulfilled in every minute basically from 10.23 to 10.27 was a coffee break in that coffee break we had to have a team talking about a certain subject during the conference ok so today we will start with, uh, with the first real action even as I said before uh, I had intention to check uh, your self-assessment list and to talk with each of you because I find some things that I would like to discuss but Steph, I know Steph told me or asked me to share our program with you just to show you what is the plan for the next 10 weeks so I will do that instead uh, so the first I forget my so the first part I will talk about the seven important rules for success or for start of success uh, then instead of self-assessment work I will show you uh, the program, the detailed program, what we will do and how, when and so on and then we will do one individual exercise uh, you will get half an hour to fill in some forms and five of you that we will choose randomly will present this here where I'm standing now this will be just short uh, intro what is the presentation and how you feel in front of the people and we will do this very often that means somebody will do it every time and next when we are come back from the, from, from the break and we start the real work we will do bi weekly that means every week one day you will have a three minute presentation what you did so far what was your problem and how you manage to solve or how you plan to solve those problems in the future okay and I will prepare always for you some, some materials so you can work on it. It will be individually, but also it will be teamwork and so on, but I will show you that. So let's start with the seven important rules for a startup success. The first one is make meaning. I will go one by one later. The second is to anticipate the need of the market. The third one is to bring your game to the next level. level. The fourth one is what are the quality of your idea or of your project or whatever you know or your skills fifth is how you position yourself on the market sixth one is to create challenges for yourself to challenge yourself more and the seven is your principles and this is the dearest subject for me and I will come to that to make meaning saying that the only place where success comes before work is in dictionary and that means that meaning, what is the purpose of your life, what you want to do with your work, with what, what you want to do with yourself, has to have a, some kind of high purpose or higher meaning. If your work, if your job, if your idea, your project has something more than just money or power or, I don't know, self-fulfillment or just to bring the food to the table, it will, be, it will become some kind of bargain very, very soon. Uh, meaning is something that will give you the higher purpose, something that will wake you up in the morning, something that it will not be difficult for you to come here to work, it will not be difficult to do something during the night, uh, or to do some uncomfortable stuff like come here and talk to other people. The second is to anticipate the need. This is the saying of Henry Ford, Henry, Henry Ford. they said that this saying uh, if you know no, if you think you can or you think you can't you are true in both ways but they said that Henry Ford never said that but this is something that he for sure said it. if he asked our customer what he need he would say fast of course of course because in that time nobody knew about the car it was something very interesting our German teacher in my high school they had uh, collection, that's 100 years of auto, 100 years of auto, and they said that uh, Mercedes or Daimler made the first car, and he didn't want to test it, then his young son, he was 15 at that time, when this father went for a trip, he took that car, 
and take it for the spin, something like that. He tried, he tested, his, he and his mother. And I asked my teacher how he did it without driving license. He didn't, he didn't have a trouble with police. And she was a very smart lady, but it took her like three, four minutes trying to find an answer to realize that if there is no car, there is no driving license for those cars. But this is something which is very important, that you think it will become, again later, when we talk about the next level, uh, what is the meaning of anticipated need of the market. This is the hardest part. If you listen to the customer and what they want, they will talk about what is happening now. But it's very hard to talk with your customer and realize what they want in the future. This is the hardest part, but you will see later in the next, in the next level what is really meaningful of that. The next level, that means you need to put your game, every project or your idea to the next level. Why Western Union was the first banking, for example, in, in, in the US, didn't become a PayPal. Why Corona? Who knows what is Corona? To be in the air drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, why Corona didn't become HP or April? <laughs> Smith Corona, Smith Corona is the, the, the first and the most famous and the best brand in the typing recorder. So, <laughs> and they never become, they never become that. They never become that. There's a story about, about ice. The first 19th centuries, uh, there was a job called ice harvesters. So the people went to the cold place with a horse and axe and uh, I don't know, sewing, and they took the block of the ice, bring it to the city, and they were selling it for the cafes and so on. Then they realized that they can use electricity, and electricity can, they can use electricity and the, and the normal water to freeze the water, and they become ice factories. And after ice factories, they decided to build a small ice factory and call it refrigerator or the PC, personal cooler, <laughs> this is like something I like. And what is interesting story, this is not this story that I'm telling, which is already told a few times, I watched it on YouTube, on different guys. There is no record that any company who was ice harvesters become ice factory. And there is no any, any, any proof that any ice factory become a refrigerator factory. That means they start on the one level, and they died on one level. Western Union, they didn't go the one level up. They are still doing the money transfer like they did it like in 200 years ago. Corona, Smith Corona, other time recorders, they never become a personal computer or PCs. And they had the best chances to do that because they had all the infrastructure. So this is something that you need to think about it. If you are Working on the same level and thinking on the same level, it will be very hard to make something innovative, to make something new, to make something. This is the new word, disrupt. Disrupt means to change two things, to change the idea or the project or the product and to disrupt the model how you do and sell. This is what Facebook did. They have like largest network without any, uh, largest network without any, what's the name, uh, property of it, uh, like Google the largest world transport company without owning any car, like uh, Airbnb, the largest uh, company for the uh, uh, renting, renting places without owning any real estate, and something like that. So this is how you think about the next level. And this is shown in the future that those who are staying on the same level die on the same level. So what is, you need to do is to observe the things that you are using the products that you are using, services that you are using, and think how you can bring that game on the next level. Idea quality. There are five qualities that great idea or project, project has to have. First, it has to be deep. That means it has to be more than you just can see. There's, there's a great, great uh, example, like slippers, but from the downside, there's an old uh, beer owner, something like that. It's just like stupid, but Somebody did it so people are buying. So there are a lot of different kind of products that can give you more than just according to appearance. It has to be intelligent. That means you feel intelligent at using and everything is simple. Intelligence means simple and clear. They have to be productive. That means to give you more than 
you can get the normal way. Elegant, everybody likes elegant. And empowering, that means to give you something more, like car. This is the best product showing this. I did it, I put this iPhone 4 because iPhone 4 is really representing everything what is written here. I, I was not iPhone user, I was Blackberry user. This was the first phone that I get. The first, I don't know, minute that I put my email, because I have everything on Google, when I put my email and my password, I had everything in my phone, even my pictures, my uh, connect book, my email, everything, notes, everything was inside. I really felt that this is something that I can work with. I have more than 50 videos on my YouTube channel made with this, with this uh, telephone, called telephone. This is a really nice design and I had it until last three weeks ago. Five years, all together five years. And it's really empowering. That means it gave me an opportunity to build something on my skills. Positioning. How you position yourself? Who, who will tell me which corner? So you have one, two, three, and four. Which corner is the best? You have uniqueness and you have a value. Which corner is the best to be in? Right, right up, of course. So you have this corner. Those are commodities. Those are the things that we are using every day. Those are the things that you can buy in every store. Those are the things that everybody is selling. So they have a value because, like, like I don't know, oil, salt, sugar, whatever. They have a value, but everybody is using, so they are not unique. Opposite on that, you have something which I call artistic. This is just plain fool. So this is something that only those people think it's unique. But for most of the people, there is no value, of course. Then you have something called late trend, which is very often happening. There is a story about Guy Kawasaki told this story about the pet food, all my store for the pet food. In one year in 2011, it was 16 online pet food stores open in Silicon Valley. In one year. And they said, okay, it's 45 million uh, dogs in the US. They have to eat and one dog in two cans per day. That means 90 million cans per day, one dollar per, yeah. per can is like 90 million dollars market per day. How hard it could be to take 1% of this market? And then Kakosaki said, what do we need to do? Take the cow, kill the cow, put it in a can and give it to the dog. And they all try to do it. And nobody succeeded. Because the trends roll up. 16 companies, even Sequoia Capital, invested 40 million dollars in the company trying to sell it. Trying to sell uh, pet food, online pet food. There was a million problems and everybody was destroyed at that time. You can have cafes, restaurants. Somebody is working good, somebody is going good, and somebody else will just open across the street and try to do the same thing, but cheaper. And it will destroy the market for everybody. In the end, this is where you want to be. That means, this means here there is no value and there is no uniqueness. Uniqueness disappeared after everybody, after try to copy, and the price is the only way that you can fight in this market. That means you are here. The best thing is when you can provide a value for your customer and again be unique or different than everybody else. Again, if it is easy, everybody would do it. But you have to think about it, how to reach there. For example, smart cars. Smart car is the only car that can be parked vertically on the, on the street. Or Uber is also on this part. All these unicorns called the 1 billion company are there. They are providing some kind of service which is valuable to the people, but also it's unique. It's challenge yourself. We talked last time about things which are not comfortable and the things that you need to change and push yourself to do because if you don't try, you will never know can you succeed. If you don't challenge yourself, and if they said, they said there's a saying, I forget the name, they said it's never become easy, you just become better. You just learn that stuff. Things it's not easy. For me, it's easy to talk to you because I'm doing it like for six years. But if you become easy, I just become better in that. Uh, try to challenge yourself on everything that we ask from you. Don't say, I cannot do it. 
or I, I don't think, I mean, like you wrote an email, you said, I don't think that I fit in this group, something like that. You came here, you will listen, you will talk with us, you will try, in the end you will know. I'm sure that you will succeed. And then we said, change your mind. This is like my favorite subject here in the Balkans, especially in the Balkans, because here is the place where you say something that stays. We have, we said that it's written in the stone. To change, to be able to change your mind is a sign of intelligence and strength, not the weakness. This is a quote from Steve Jobs. In 2011, no, 2007, when the first iPhone went out, uh, they said, and he said openly, that they will not be uh, the applications done by somebody else, then enabled only. Because the telephone has to be safe and intimate. Eleven months later, he changed his mind publicly, openly, and he said that this telephone has to be empowered and unlimited, and he will allow anybody who is able to make iOS up to make iOS up. So, because of that, we got i everything, whatever. But he said this openly, and this quote came after because it was Jim, Steve Jobs, you know, the, the biggest ego in, in the world, like, that the world ever seen. So, this quote really makes sense. And then after this, I found this only you can decide to change your mind. This is what is standing behind. If you have an influence from somebody who is trying to persuade you to change your mind, you don't feel that you have to change something, this is something different. But if you feel in yourself that you need to change your mind, those are the principles that you have. And those are principles which are really hardcore here in Balkan. If I said something, I know I'm wrong, but there is no way that I will say that I'm wrong. And now I see that only girls are smiling. <laughs> because this is like very often happening here. This is what I wrote a long time ago. This is called mantra. Mantra is something which is combined mission and vision. And this is some word or virtues that I cherish, that I like, and that I wanted to fit somehow in my life motto. They said speed, speed propels your life. Very often when I said when I have idea, I start immediately on that idea. And I have at least 24 hours to change my mind without anybody notice that I start to do this. So speed in the startup life, in the startup world is very important. When you get some kind of idea, when you get some kind of project or opportunity, jump to it. Try it immediately. It will not hurt you. Attitude controls your life. How do you feel about your idea, about the people that you speak, about the market that you live in, about the country, politics, whatever. Your attitude to you and to other people is something that controls your life or how you live your project. Momentum maintains this. This is very important. Momentum is one of the most important things when you're building your project. When you start to build like, like a snowball, it will, be, it will start small and it will start to roll. But if you keep your momentum, it will become bigger and bigger and bigger. And it will become unstoppable. Unstoppable, of course, of course. Patience, protect. There's a beautiful picture. I don't have it here. It's showing the mind of an entrepreneur. And there's a like half a brain is my own image of the world. And there's small, small, small parts is patience. So, why I said patience here when speed propels your life, and then patience. Patience is not to wait for opportunity. Patience is to test and wait for results. To check first and then to act. This is patience here. Leadership guides, of course, every, each of one of you, if you know and you will be asked during the, this session, uh, to find a mentor, to find somebody who is working in some field or similar like you are, and to get a mentor. I will give you the script basically how to talk with those people. It will be older for sure. And to have somebody who will be there. Tamara, you wrote, I have to now talk about you, just, just about you. The third question do you feel that your family support you 
in your business you wrote, I don't know. I haven't talked about this, <laughs> so I don't know. Because this is like a feeling. Or? Yeah, because you, you, what you said about the Balkans, they really don't understand the startup businesses, so I don't know what yeah. people say. Uh, we will find somebody who will understand you. We will find somebody who will talk with somebody who will give you the profile of somebody that can understand you. Uh, this is the more reason, not only the mentor, it will be easier for you, for you to reach somebody and talk somebody about your problems. And just get a feeling how what will happen. Because usually the, these people who are already experienced and have something, if you ask them for mentorship, it will be some kind of, I don't know, ego thing and I don't think that nobody will say no to you. And in the end, of course, intellect unleashed. That means intellect is something which is different with every person. Last time I said that only 5% of the people who start a business become a successful businessman or businesswoman. And that 20 of us or 15 of us here and 500 sitting drinking coffee in City Mall. Uh, same is with the intellect. Uh, everybody has some kind of intelligence and just we decide how to use it. And last time I said for those for the first time here that human is the only creature who decide consciously not to fulfill everything that we have. And this is about the internet. I want to use your brain energy, your brain power, and what you want to accomplish with that. You can talk about, I don't know, who is with who and about the music and about the football and about the politics and about what is uh, to do is it's, also you have to do. Of course, of course. This is like every country here has at least two million prime, prime ministers, two million football coaches, two million I don't know this and that. Everybody knows everything, but nobody wants to do anything with that. Uh, last time we went through the introduction, I show you what to expect, what to get, and what the next thing and so on. Uh, now we are starting with the mind of entrepreneur. Uh, we talked about self-assessment. So here you can see how it will go. Basically, uh, self-assessment. Then the next thing will be personalized profile in the notebook. Tomorrow you will get an email. It's already preset with a link to the YouTube that I make and made and. It's like four minutes, something like that, how to create a profile in our online educational platform. So you need to do that in order to continue, because all the next videos will come through the notebook. You will just get information. Then we go with the skills requirement. Then we will talk about the signs. What are the signs that you are an entrepreneur? Then we will talk about some reasons. Why you want to do this? What are the right, wrong reasons, and so on? And I will not mention, I will not talk. Which is you see, which is video lecture, which is virtual discussion, and so on. So the black one, can read this? Is it sharp enough? Uh, the black one are the models or the names of the lectures, and under is written how they will be done. Some of them like 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 virtual decision, discussion, video lecture, or both of them. So we will know. You will know the part that you will get as a video for you only, and what is for video that you need to know because we will discuss about it. Then we will talk about why, why you want to do this, and why you think your potential customer will buy what you have. Then we will put this mantra st statement. Then we, this from this mantra statement, we will start to talk about you and your idea, you and your future. Now we talk a little bit about you. I just want to create a dossier, a file. I want to create a profile of who you are so we can build on your strengths. This is something that, that I want to do. Then you get the first assignment. Peter asked me today about the set, set button. So you will get an hour and something lecture from Paris last year. And I will ask you to give me five messages that you got from set, from this one hour video. And you will present those here, you will stand in the same place that I'm standing, and you will say, I watched this video, and those are the fast five messages that I read or got or filled or something like that. After that, we'll make a su summary. How do you feel about after every model? We'll do this summary. It will be online for I really want to get a feedback from you. I want to get a feedback what was good, what was bad. 
uh, what you want to change, what you want to get better, more, or what you understand, and something. Really feedback. And I will ask you for negative feedback. Negative feedback, at least from 10 questions, 7 questions will be how to improve something. Because I really want to do this as best as I can. Uh, Napoleon said, and they said also that it was Igor Maria, he said that uh, if somebody give you a uh, compliment, compliment will uh, feed your ego, but you will not get advanced from it. So, for the second week, we will start with how to spark your idea. Some of you have an idea, some of you came with the products, but I have to do this part, how to spark your idea, what are the things that one good idea has to have. Then we will go to the need on the market, then we will go with the thinking methods, we will, we will make the group methods, it's called brain dump, with 20 questions, why, and 20 because, something like that. So it's an it's interesting game. Then I will talk about the lean method, what we are doing, just to explain why we are testing everything, what we are testing, why we are doing the same thing over and over and over again. Then we go for idea validation. This is the part when we really start to work, really start to work. Then I will show you the tools first. Those tools will come through the video. So you will get surveys, interviews, social media campaigns, leading page, all those things. You will get tutorials. And for most of them, tutorials are more than an hour. That means if you want to build those things, you can, you have, there's an opportunity for you to learn. If you don't want to build those things, it has to be somebody in your team ready who will do promotion, marketing, or design, who will have to learn those things in order to build for yourself. Uh, I did it myself, first time when I started my own business. So I was researching, investigating, I didn't have money to buy the real tools. And so I had to I don't know, improvise and to find the tools that are good enough for me and for my work so I can do it. Now we have all here, for example, leading page, lead pages are like $60, $70 per month, but I will give you <coughs> username and password so you will be able to work on your, on your site and so on, you don't have to pay for those things. I have more than 1,000 uh, WordPress teams, which are premium teams costing on 35 to 100 euros, but I will give you all those things because I already have this kind of things. Uh, for example, I don't know, $97 per month is video blog, video blog, uh, iPhoto stock, and those kind of things that you can find with the stuff that you need, we already have. So we will give you those stuff for you to play, but you have to know how to use it. Then we will go idea validation. Then this is important stuff, the last one. How to test your idea, how to set up hypotheses and assumptions. Hypothesis assumptions is that somebody needs your product, and hypothesis is that when you launch, a thousand people will come, and from that thousand people, hundred people will buy. So we will go and test those things. Then we go to customer discovery. Who is your customer? Where to find him? How to determine your persona? Persona is customer segment. In the next model, we will go to the list on the business model, so you will know what is customer segment. How to determine advanced customer profiling using the tools on the internet, free. Customer database, CRM. How to keep your customers organized and prioritized and so on. Then we go to prospecting, approaching. I will give you the formula for writing for writing, for telephone script you will get, you will get for email, how to uh, present yourself and how to write an email in, let's say, three paragraphs and to say everything about you, your product, your company, your wants and call for action and everything so it fits on one page so somebody will actually read it. Those things will test on the real people, so we will set up your offer and we will contact our mentors, the real companies, and we will send your offer to them. And then they will see, they will give you the real feedback how they feel about your offer, compare it to the market, to the real people with the real money for doing this, and then we will after this doing. Your offer will become a product. So we will extract what you have in your head. We will prepare something called paper prototype. The paper prototype means everything that you want to do will be written on the paper, but also with the structure of your real product which will become something called 
unique cell proposals. Unique cell proposal is something that will be unique only for you and something that will be offered to the market, but it's only named sales proposal, but everybody else who sees that your presentation or your explanation of what you are doing. Then we will go to the promotional channels, distributional channels, and then we go how to pitch your idea with different decks, because in that time we already had some people here coming listening to you. We'll also come to the middle of August, there is 2nd September, there are competition in a in Kelm, uh, Pirate Summit, we have some tickets ready for those. Yesterday I got information, 10 wildcards, that means even if you want to pitch, there's opportunity for you to go there. In September it will come at least 3-4 more startup competition. So let's start to think about the presentation, about the deck and how to organize your idea around something. Then we'll go a little bit about the competition, because of course we have to research the competition in order to know uh, what is there on the market and how we can find our niche or how we can fit on this market with this competition. There is a method, how to present ZBA method, this is my method, how to present your product. It basically said uh, characteristic benefit advantage. Then we will do a little bit about SWOT. This is the only word probably that you know here. Old one. Then we will go to competitor social impact. That means deep research or stacking our companies on the Facebook and see who are the customers, what they are doing, how they are feeling, what kind of emotion they are showing on their sites and so on in order to find a better solution for them. Because what we will do next is when we create that first campaign, we will lean on our customer database. That means we will try to attract customers who are already using some kind of product there. This is the easiest way. We also have uh, another homework. This is Sandwich Video, one of the best of the world's largest uh, creators of the promotional video in the world. And I will just send you the list of like 20, 30, 50 maybe even uh, videos and ask you to pick three best, three best products and something that you will buy. Then we'll go to business model. Who know what, who don't know what is business model? Canvas. Business model canvas. Who don't know what it is? We'll bring one big one and I will show you how to work. Business model of Canvas have now different uh, parts. First is customer segment, and this, this here will become a real work. That means you can see, you will get the video, you will get homework, you will make the presentation, and we will talk about it. That means, for example, you girls are the first here, so you have your own project, by then you have your unique sell proposals. And then you will say, okay, we are selling used shoes online. And uh, what do you think who is our best customer? Who is our best buyer? And there will be 15 of you to give your own opinion. And we will make this customer segments. And we will try to categorize our customers' segments and the offers that they have. For example, better for you, you have a different kind of customer by then and then we'll go with different customer segments. According to the customer, we'll know where to find you. If we are talking about a 16 years old girl, where, how, we, how we target her, or how if we talk about 45 older guy, what they want, something like that. So then we'll go again to polish a little bit our value position for this customer segment, because it will be always different. Then we'll go to channels, promotional distribution, Customer relation, key partners, cost structure, key resources, revenue streams, and the bonus is unfair advantage. We'll try to discuss here what is special because we already will talk about the competition and we will discuss what is special in you, in your skill set, personally, and your, and your product or your project, what is special comparing to others. So this is this, and then we go for the presentation and the checklist. Here's also a lot of work. That means you will get the formula for 5 minute pitch, 3 minute pitch, 90 second pitch, and then we will make your promotional video. By then we will have your website, your online identity, with all the social network, you will have your landing page, 
nicely done and then we will record your video. We will join our forces and do our best work. We are already uh, talking and communicating with the companies from the market like public publicists who is doing the marketing for us. Uh, for those of you who will be really, really good and have already prepared products to make really professional uh, 90 second video, promotional like, like commercial something like that. And we cannot do it for everybody unless everybody will be so good that we have to. But we will do it. Again, website, so for example, here you get the website, video, and how to tutorial. You will get uh, free users on to get domain, not the real one, but almost. Then you will get the free premium template, and then you will know you already have all the structure, all the information, and then you will get a tutorial how to build a WordPress uh, website. So I assume that everybody of you is capable or or willing to make yourself a nice website, something like that. Facebook, LinkedIn, video, and so on. All the checklists. That means you will get a checklist of 15 stuff that you need to just uncheck, check, check, dip, dip, dip. In the end, you will have what you want to build. Email letter. Then we will talk a little bit about money. This will be done by by by. Also. So about bootstrapping for your business, what does it mean bootstrapping? Everybody knows Balkan is bootstrapping, even very small amount of percentage of people know what it means. That means you are trying to sell and take a profit and invest, and invest, and invest, and trying to find free and available tools. So. I know about bootstrapping in IT. <laughs> in IT bootstrapping, what is about bootstrapping in IT? Uh, it's sort of a framework to create those kinds of things, so not related to any of yeah. Then uh, we'll talk about about your time and your value and how you can if for example if you don't want to be a designer and build your website, how do you mean and how do you what you can do better to earn the money to pay for the service, freelance co-founders, and so legal documents, contracts, investment. Again we have a homework, how to be friends and influence people. This will be the dearest of mine. It is like five hundred Pages book, and you need to make a three pages essay for me. Thank you very much. Then we go for team building, talking about co founders, co workings, how to fire, how to hire, where to find employees, remote work. We will go a lot about freelancer, freelancer sites like Fever or something like that. You can find somebody who will something for five dollars for you or something like that. And this is in the end what we will get. This is what we will test. That means market need, product design, characteristics, price, solution how to do this, market size, location, customer segment, demographic, channels, promotion, distribution, intellectual property on the market. In the end, we will wrap it up with your idea profile. That means you personally, your idea will become a project and you will have your profile. All the lectures, all the mentors will follow what you are doing and give you some kind of grades. In the end, even if you don't decide to go forward with your project, you will have a profile and you will have knowledge that you can become more employable, I will say, on the market and you will meet a lot of mentors, a lot of companies that we are working with, so already you will have higher profile than you have right now. And then founder, business potential, scalability and everything will become your uh, investor pitch and if you decide to stay in the program we go in Belgrade well, we starting we are starting three week pitching school which is free for all participants of uh, smart Up school and we start only in presentation building our project building our our prototype proving if something is working proving on the market need and everything else and we go in Belgrade to pitch to investors. As I already said, we will have a list of investors in front. That means not only that you need to pitch with the other team, but you will get the opportunity to talk with each investor who will be interested in what you are building and maybe to get from it, something from it. So this is how it will work and afterwards, after Belgrade, we will pick 16 who will become a Smart Health Center team. This is a six months program. Which is when is building? Uh, 12, 14, 12 to 14 November. 
So we will have October to work. This program is finishing 25th of September. So we'll have October to work on it and to prepare on it. So we will be in Belgrade on 12th and 14th. We will go as visitors for sure, but I hope that most of the teams will go also as a competitor, competitors. And as I said last time, from the middle of August, we are starting with another group. Now we have already, how many of you? 15, 16, already few too much. Uh, but we'll have two groups for 12 or 15 people, uh, at least sometimes 15 teams, so we have some chance to compete there, because of course. But here it's not easy. It will be a lot of work because what I showed you and what I lied to in the presentation of this program when I said how many lectures we will have here, how many hours, and I didn't show you how many homework you will get. And well, if you have somebody who already knows how to build a website, then you don't need to learn how the WordPress is working. So most of you already have uh, Facebook, Facebook profile. Yes. Every of you have a Facebook, so it will be very easy to, to build a page. But you will get the list of 23 stuff that your Facebook page has to have. And you just go to the list and find them, and you will get a tutorial where to find them. I'm sure from 20, 15, you will know where are they and how to do it. It will be easy. But those five are also important for CEO or for somebody else. Uh, when we go to the prototyping, when we go to the writing, it will be, you'll feel that. You know, when, when you extract what you have in your head on the paper, in the written, it will be just random words. Okay, some of you know how to, how to write. Maybe it will be a little better. But usually it's just random thoughts. And when, when we structure your thoughts in something really sound like offer, like we did with the videos. When the first time you wrote and what you record, those who work with us, it's something completely different. So. This will, be, this will happen with your project, but times 100 at least. Okay? Thursday, 5.30. Here? 